Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2! And we are here in our jungle zone where we've got all sorts of different jungle creatures including our tapirs who are running around somewhere. Oh, there you are! Oh, you guys, I don't think I did these ones enough justice. I was so tired last time when we were in here hanging out with these ones that I really don't think I explained how absolutely cool these guys are. They're basically like big old cow pigs and they're actually called like the jungle cow or the jungle pig in some cultures. Um, you know in, in their languages, but they're just I watch some videos of them interacting with the zookeepers And they're just like big puppies They just want belly rubs and they snuggle and if you don't give them attention Then they like push their head up under you and they're just like hey hey I want attention. I want attention. What are you guys doing in here? What are you guys doing in here? Are you guys just sitting inside of the little bush? That's fine. If you want to be in the bush, that's fine. Oh, and the Chinese soft shell turtle is once again complaining about not having a spot to lay her eggs. So we're going to put her in here. And we actually have a lot of pregnancies and births going on right now. Asian elephant 2 is about to give birth, which is very exciting because we're going to have so many Asian elephant babies. I still need more names. More names for the Asian elephant babies. I need more. And then we also have... The wild horse! She is giving birth right now. Oh, she looks like she is... Yeah, she's wandering off. Oh my goodness. <gasps> she's building a nest! The Chinese soft shell turtle is building a nest. Oh my goodness, it feels like we're just like on baby watch in each corner of the zoo. All right, I think we're going to have a new baby in just a second. Oh, we're going down. We're laying down. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. <gasps> the new baby! There we are! Oh my gosh! Asian Elephant 2 has just given birth. We have welcomed yet another new beautiful elephant calf into our zoo. So congratulations, my dear. Here, actually, let's go ahead to celebrate this birth. I want to make sure that we give them newly born. Oh, this is Asian Elephant 13 already. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to raise some of them up and release them to the wild pretty soon. Here, we'll celebrate with durians. More smelly durians. <laughs> So let's go ahead. We'll toss in a bunch of smelly durians for our elephants to enjoy to celebrate the birth of the little baby elephant calf. And then we're oh my gosh, look at all these look at all these balloons we have over here to celebrate the births of the babies. And I can't that's right, I can't reach these balloons because my my rock is in the way. And let's go and check in on do 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 the wild horse who has just given birth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh look at you. Look at you hiding in the grasses. Wait, yeah, there you are. Oh my gosh. Zoom, zoom. Is, is your baby over here? Did you leave? There's the baby. There's the baby right there, you guys. So for those of you who don't know, these are based on the wild horses that live in the Mongolian steppe. So up in Asia. And these guys are the last remaining wild horse, like truly genetically wild horse that you can find anywhere in the world. Um, there are some wild horses, or what we would call wild horse herds, in America and on certain islands and places like that. But they are not genetically wild, as in they have never been tamed in their entire, like, evolutionary existence. So that's why those guys are so cool. And then, let's see, the camel has just given birth. Oh my gosh, really? We just have babies all over the place. So we have a new baby camel right here and their their texture is broken so they look a little bit funky but that's them and then the tapirs the tapirs are complaining about their logs not being in the right places and apparently they're thirsty so i came over and i actually redid ah I zoomed out too far I actually, oh, and there's a big giant thing that we'll talk about in a second, too, in case you can't notice a huge aviary. But I did redo their exhibit a little bit. I removed the elephant ear trees. So the elephant ear trees were what were giving me the texture glitch and not letting me work very well with um, this ground area. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead. We'll put the water back here, maybe. Are you? Oh, where, wait, were you going to drink from there? <laughs> Oh, he was going to drink from there. Oh, well. Well, he now has a little tiny pond that they can kind of splash around in. Because apparently, like I said last time, oh, Princess just died of old age. Oh, But uh, apparently these guys really, really love to splash around inside of the, uh, the water. They're pretty good swimmers. Panther Chameleon 8 is really hungry. Okay, I'm coming along, my dear. Do you not have enough insects? Oh, jeez. I love our... <gasps> thing right here this is the tiniest little chameleon tiniest little chameleon ever look at you what do you think you're doing 
Tiny chameleon antics, that's what you're doing. He's getting a little bit of water, oh my gosh. And I love how we have the fog machine set up in our reptile areas so that it can keep the area nice and moist. Oh my gosh, look at you. And another camel is giving birth, oh my goodness. Tiny, tiny chameleon. You're like my favorite thing in the world right now. I really love you. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, back to work, back to work. Yes, again, we'll talk about this in just a second. But yeah, I redid their exhibit a little bit, took out the elephant ears because that was what was causing our problems. Oh, look! And these guys are having so much fun splashing in the water. Look at that. Taking a little bath in the water. I really think that these guys could enchant me because they may not be the most majestic and elegant looking creatures at first, but as you can see, they definitely have a lot of personality. I went ahead and like I mentioned, I watched some videos on YouTube. I love doing that when I'm researching the animals. It's something I've done when I was researching biology at university. It's something I do now. It's a great way of just kind of exposing yourself to lots of different creatures. And the, the videos I could see of these guys, they were just all snuggling with the keepers and they were really, really acted like a big Labrador dog. That's what they reminded me of. So that's why you are so adorably cute. And let's go ahead and come in. We need to check in on our Chinese soft shell turtle female. I love the big zoo because it just keeps us so busy all the time. Are you okay? Just wandering around? Did you make your little, did you make your little nest? I don't know if she can actually make a nest. She might be one of those mods that they can get pregnant, but they never lay the eggs. And apparently we have another escaped Sumatran striped rabbit. Oh goodness. <laughs> All right. We might have to just redo the entire Sumatran striped rabbit exhibit. It is like literally a real life year plus old. So my skills at building in Zoo Tycoon 2 have gone way up since then. So we might have to come over here and just kind of like kind of tidy things up. She's pregnant again. She's just like endlessly pregnant, but can never lay her eggs, even though it said she built a nest for them. So we'll keep an eye on her next time it says she builds a nest, because I didn't see a nest. Oh, we're losing a bunch of orangutans to old age. Oh, but all right. So this big giant thing, <laughs> I built an aviary, you guys. <laughs> so I really, really, every time I thought about what I wanted to do, what, why is Panther Pulean? Oh my gosh. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. All right. Chinese soft shell turtle needs somewhere to lay her eggs. So we're going to put her there. Panther Chameleon 8 is really hungry and having some trouble finding food. So let's go ahead. I'm going to add in a second insect uh, feeder in here and maybe that'll solve his problems. And I have a headless zookeeper. This isn't creepy whatsoever. Hey there, buddy. It appears your head is like floating to the side there. Do you need a vacation day? If you are sick, I, I swear you can take a sick day if you need a sick day, sir. I'm a little worried about you. Okay, come on. Nope, keep your head on. Keep your head on literally, please. Oh my gosh. Okay, can I get him out of there? Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. It's okay. Deep breaths. Deep, calming breaths. All right, and he's off. He's like, I've got food dishes to fill. That, that right there, that's dedication. Dedication in uniform. All right, so let's keep moving. I'm going to continue to show you, despite the zoo like distracting us with a million things we need to take care of. Are you not eating? Panther Chameleon 8! Ambushing. Oh! That's because you're being a cranky pants, Panther Chameleon. So it's your own darn fault. No, go in, go in here and think about what you're doing. You're going to kill yourself, sir. Sometimes if you put the animals in a crate and then you release them again, it can kind of get them to calm down. It's trying to ambush its own mate. That's not good. You're gonna die. Calm down. Just calm down. Alright, come on and eat. Come on and eat. You can't ambush this panther chameleon. It's busy pooping in the other corner. It's a beautiful panther chameleon too. So I just have one very, very angry panther chameleon over here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead... Oh no, he's eating the insects now! Finally! I was gonna adopt him out to another facility if he kept that up. Because if they're not gonna get along, then he can just go stay somewhere else. Alright, so he's gonna get along now. I think he's doing okay. <gasps> Our giant panda just gave birth! What? We need more panda names, you guys. What were you doing? What were you doing? I saw you on that lily pad. What do you think you were up to on that lily pad over here? Get back, get back over here! Do not sleep on the lily pad! 
Do not sleep on the lily pads. We don't need giant pandas sleeping on the lily pads. You silly goose. You very silly goose. Okay, so we don't need that kind of nonsense. Um, all right, pandas seem to be doing okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so where was I, guys? The aviary. Every time I thought about coming back into this zoo and like what I wanted to do and build in this zoo, it always came back to that I wanted to do a bunch of tropical bird aviaries. And for me, building with the aviary tools that you can get, the decorative pieces, was proving to be a little bit tricky. So I took some time uh, aside out of my day and figured out how to build an aviary. So we've got a nice big aviary in the corner here and I blocked it off. And what will happen is, oh, Chinese stuff shell turtle too. Needs to lay some eggs. Oh, that's right. We had turtles laying eggs down here. And you have some land. Did you lay your eggs? She's like, I'm just wandering. Ah, all right. We're just going to have to ignore them then. I think they're one of those mods that actually are a little broken. So we'll, I mean, we'll follow her. See, I think they're one of those mods that are a little bit broken. So when you actually like follow them, they don't. Are you going to do anything? No? When you actually follow them, they don't do anything. So we'll leave her in there. Kala the tiger is giving birth. I am never going to get to tell you guys about this aviary, am I? That's fine. Because a tiger giving birth to adorable baby tiger cubs in here. That is really thrilling. Look at this keeper. This keeper is just as excited as we are. Oh, Kala. You don't need to try to go out into like the actual like public area to have your babies, please. Look at how pretty she is. Oh my goodness. She's swimming somewhere. Let's follow her. Kala, our tiger. She's gonna have some babies soon. All right, come on, Kala. <gasps> Here we go. Kala. Oh, babies. Babies, babies, babies. Babies, look at them. Look at them. Oh, welcome. Welcome. So Kala has now had two little tiger cubs. We're gonna need some cute little names for them too. We need names for like everything in this zoo. Oh my goodness. The orangutans for sure too. So wait. Kala, is your mate coming to see the babies? Not normally a good thing with tigers. Oh, goodness. Did you see that roar? There we go. There we go, mama. Who's a good mama? Oh, that is so awesome. So let's see what they are. She's going to go take a nap now. So we have Bengal Tiger 13, who is a little girl, and she's apparently learning to hunt from her mother. And another little girl, Bengal Tiger 14, who is going to use the heated rock. So she's going to go chill out at the heated rock. That's awesome. All right. And then let's go ahead and finally, uh, is it, okay, the food dish, I'll have to move that later. Finally, we're going to come over here. And this is the aviary that I built. It is not perfect. There is a giant glaring hole in the aviary that we're going to cover up with trees and pretend isn't there because I can't get rid of the zoo wall. And I didn't realize till after I had already put everything else up that I needed to kind of scooch it just one down. So we're just going to fill that with trees because the animals are not going to try to escape even if they are flying animals outside of the fencing. So it's not a big deal for the game mechanics. It's just kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> so we're going to ignore that. That. And the way that it's kind of roped off is to kind of give the illusion of being an open air aviary. However, the animals are going to treat each area like it is its own section. There's invisible fencing under the decorative pieces so that they won't go out past here. And then there's this fencing, the rope and post fencing, that we'll leave down here so that the guests will feel like it's an open air aviary. But the reality is that as you come in here, each section will be treated by the game animals as a different area. So if we have, say, a wild bird that is coded to be a carnivorous bird, even if it's not supposed to be, because there's quite a few of the modded birds like that, we'll be able to safely keep them quarantined where they're not going to try to eat the other birds. So that's the goal. So that is what this area is for. I'm going to be really excited to be poking around and working in it too. So we're going to be adding in some birds, lots of different birds into the aviary here. It might not be the only aviary. And the other thing I'm really hoping that we'll get to see is the tapir. Tapir, are you going to have some babies? Now they're just like, oh, I'm just going to be a big pig cow thing. There we go. We'll replace its stinky durian so it can enjoy some stinky durians. Look at the little ears. Look at your little ears. Oh my gosh, look at those little eyes. How are you? You're not even... I mean, I guess he is kind of cute. And it has kind of like a prehensile nose the way elephants do. So it is kind of cute. Just I, I didn't expect myself to be totally charmed by them. And they've got their durian trees everywhere. So what I like to do when we put those kinds of plants into an exhibit is occasionally come by and be like, oh, what? What? You 
guys don't get a durian? You guys don't get durians. Well, if they would eat durians as their enrichment item, we'll put apples down instead, even though that's not as fun. Occasionally come by and be like, oh, look at that, a durian fell from the tree. And you can put the durian treats on the ground like we did for the elephants. All right, so let's check on this turtle. Did she do anything? She's wandering around. Are you going to build a little nest? You going to build a little nest? Apparently, we can't breed these guys in captivity, so fooey on that. Also, why is this kid ha unhappy? <gasps> he is so unhappy. Oh, he's really hungry. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you guys. Well, I think that tells us what we need to work on as the last part of the day for this section. Because that is actually the big thing I meant to do today, and I forgot about it until that child is just like, I'm leaving your amazing zoo because I'm starving to death, is I want to build a little restaurant or a food court down here. And I think we actually have enough room for a restaurant and it would kind of be nice to have like a aviary restaurant and we can pretend it has like windows that look into the aviary so people can enjoy it. So let's go ahead and find restaurants and the deep diner, cafe on the bay. There has to be more restaurants now. So let's see. I don't think I've unlocked all of them. Uh, there's the chess restaurant. Uh, let's see. That's the, oh, we should maybe put like a gift shop over here. I think it's been a while since we've had a gift shop. So we might like put a little gift shop down somewhere over here so people can enjoy that. What the heck is this? Ooh, it's another glass dome roof for some of the bigger things. Where are the restaurants? Let's see what we've got to pick from. There's all the food carts. All the food carts, there we go. All right, we've got a grill. So we've got this grill right here that we could put down. I kind of like the way the grill looks. Then there's the tea house. We already have a tea house over on the other side. There's the family restaurant. The family restaurant actually offers like a lot, even if it isn't the most attractive looking thing. Um, a deep diner, cafe on the bay. I really like the look of the grill actually. So, eh, but I think a family restaurant, I know it's kind of traditional, but I'm just gonna put a family restaurant down over here and hopefully people will be able to come over and enjoy whatever food it has. So let's go ahead and just remove some of the path right here. Not that much of the path, but some of the path right there. And then we're going to replace the path right here as well. And the reason I do that is that I want to go ahead. Are you guys coming for the restaurant maybe? Yeah, they're excited to come and eat at the restaurant. Sweet. So I'm going to remove this path down here. There we go. Don't need to remove that one though. So I'm going to replace that. Well, maybe I could do this. Let's do, hmm, like one little, yeah, they can, they can walk down one little path. So we're going to go down here, remove all this and this, and they can walk down here. Yay, the kid is walking towards there. Okay, good. And then what I like to do is then grab some like decorative pieces to put around the restaurant. Like, look at all these. Look at the chameleon trees that we put down and just make it look nice. I forgot how I use these chameleon trees as decorative pieces. They make really nice decorative pieces. And you can just kind of sprinkle them around a little bit. And don't put them where they're going to block people though, because they are considered an object. There we go. And we'll just continue to work with that so that then people can eat over here. I was thinking like doing a whole little like cafe eating area where people could have multiple um, choices like they could have all of the little food stands you from but I think the restaurants are more popular with the guests I think they have a higher pool on their satisfaction levels and I think they just look nicer honestly all right we're gonna do this gonna put some ferns down absolutely everywhere because I love ferns they can even trickle in we can put some ferns down in the tapir exhibit tapir tapir all right and we're gonna go ahead sprinkle more ferns everywhere and you can see where I've started to pull in some bamboo to try to improve the area over there. And then how did we make it look so nice over here with these guys? Ooh, I like the stargazer lilies. I like the plants. Putting plants down everywhere definitely helps. I mean, you want to make it look like somewhere where people would want to come back again and again. Like look at it and go, is this impressive enough where not only for the animals well-being, but for how pretty it is, I would want to return? That is my rule of thumb. And what I really love are the plants. <laughs> so that's kind of where my rule of thumb for how I decorate comes from. All right, the small jungle palms. Look at that little guy. Are you going to use the little scratching post? Is it is it too close to the wall? 
You know, he's like, I just want a little drink. All right, let's try putting it like this, just in case that helps him a little better. <gasps> Are you gonna play in the water again? Oh, nope, he's like, there's an apple over there. Okay, he's headed for his little apple. All right, and then we can even put some small jungle palms. Sir, where are you going? You are just walking through my bamboo field there, sir. There's a perfectly good path right here, you know. I don't know what to think about that. Oh, I guess the guests can't use the gates. Ew, that's true. Ew, I think there's actually... Okay, this is gonna be weird. I think there's actually a special item. Ah, how did I forget they can't use the gates? I think there is actually like a door, an open door. And I looked at it and I didn't quite get what it was. And so I passed it up, but I'm gonna find it. So series sad attempts to make an aviary take two are going to continue. Oh, and there's a little, let's put a little zoom map down here. Cause I think a zoom map would be very appropriate on this side. But yeah, look at this. So we are really sprucing this side up. I think we might kind of tidy up this area, make some sitting areas, maybe um, try to put a gift cart or something over here. We have the island gift cart, but like maybe a gift store. Oh, we need more of the educational kiosk for sure. Maybe we'll put like one of the educational kiosks over here. We're gonna have like lots of educators who are going to be inside the aviary. I can't believe I forgot guests can't use the gates. Guests can't use the gates. Silly Siri being silly again. But I know somewhere around here, there's like a double door item that you put down that I think they can walk through. So either we're going to be really embarrassed and just have these giant holes in their aviaries or things are going to work. So we'll figure that out. But all right, guys. So we've made some progress. We have baby elephants. We have baby tigers. We do not have baby softshell turtles. Unfortunately, it looks like that modded animal is working quite that well. And what I really would love to see are some baby tapirs because they're adorable and spotted and I really want to see them. So hopefully we will in the future and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.